Hey everybody, it's APH. Welcome back to the town of Lost Hope. Now in the last episode, we got our food production up and going. We expanded into the Middle Age. And in this episode, we're going to continue over to the West where we're going to get iron so that we can produce our own tools. So we're not buying them. As we get going, our building combo is just about to finish. And we're going to get the biggest buff we've seen so far. And then what we're going to do is we're going to buy some province to the West, up our town to level two so that we can actually sell food because food is going to be blown up this season there we go look at all those combos gives us a, the description so all of them do get a 15% bonus all of our fruit gathers let's upgrade our town so that as food starts pouring in we can sell it we do need to push our beer production even further and let's roll through these cards and see what we have we will preemptively take the granary and the fruit gather because we're gonna keep expanding our food production as we go to the west We'll take the wild cards and we're going to grab our first sell food. So at any time we're above 2,000 food, we're going to go ahead and sell. Alright, grab another wild card, grab our fruit gather. And last, another wild card. It looks like we just actually got another deck. Alright, nothing on this. Let's go ahead and re-roll and see if there's anything good. Alright, nothing good in there. So, let's go ahead and zoom out start taking a look so we want to proceed kind of copying this over here and we're going to adjust it a little bit because in the not in the tech tree but in the upgrade tree we are finally going to get something that helps with appeal and so we're going to space our houses out a little bit different as we build our next little hub once we finish that hub we're going to come back to this hub and upgrade it so it's kind of that same pattern so let's zoom in just a little bit because I think we're going to want to end at that grapes. This zone over to grapes, down to the die, and maybe this zone down here. That's kind of what I want to purchase. And then what we'll look at, let's go ahead and clear out the trees and look at the fertility. So this area looks like it's probably the grapes. Let's pull up the, the overlay. Yeah, that's going to be a farm. And that looks like the only area that's extremely fertile until we get down here to the dyes. So let's go ahead and close off our overlays. We got to get enough food to actually start this. It's going to go food to 2000, buy some tools so we don't have to worry about them, and then start our upgrade. See what's in the cards, wild card. Let's get two more houses down here. Let's take a look at the tech tree, because tech will be big. So we're going to want library first for the 100% bonus to, to research. Then we're going to want brickwork, ironwork, blacksmith. And then we're going to come across the logistics so we get warehouse. After that, we want the winery. So we're going to go from potato to bakery to wine and probably pick up tailoring at some point in time if we get cotton or we move to sheep. Pigs. What are we going to do with the pigs? We can use that space for other things. So let's kill these off. We're just going to start with the two for now. We'll look at this one later. We might switch it to sheep at some point in time. Be nice if we had the option in here to actually switch it. Another sell food, another wild card. Excellent. Our food's on the rise. So we have some buffs. Let's go ahead and buff both of our coal yards. We haven't built this beer brewery, and I don't think we're going to build this beer brewery anytime soon. I think we're going to reconfigure this whole area to kind of look more like a town. You know, we're, we're past that era of lost hope. We want to get into a beautiful city. And so we'll kind of pick up, kind of like towns do nowadays, where it starts as being a little neighborhood. So this will be a neighborhood. And then to the west a little bit, we'll get another neighborhood. And then as we expand, we'll kind of merge them together to actually make a a proper town. All of our granaries do store food. It has 30 total slots. Let's prioritize all of our, our regular yards to not have food. That way, we actually have a little bit of room for things. Let's get all of these selected. Look at all that meat, 500. Man, that's the way to go. If we could just buy our animals up and kill them down, that would be the way to go. I don't think it's effective, but that is that is tremendous. Looks like I just saw a hunter actually shooting. Oh, maybe he's going after that deer. He is just walking through our field. All right, let's get these done. Now we are at 2,000 food. Let's go ahead and sell. Get us our money. 
grab our first lot of tools where we're not going to worry about money. Good, good. Yes, we're not worrying about money. This is amazing. Continue to move our food down. Now, this one is clear. We can go ahead and get rid of it. No more stinking animals near us. We want the library uh, card. Let's go ahead and get rid of the pig. We do want the library card. Now, plop it right next to our tavern. That should move us to 160 research. That will progress us quite a bit. Let's get rid of this other pig yard. So we can fill up the houses that we have. Should be fine because we produced enough food. Up our laborers up to five. Yep, let's go ahead and bring on some immigrations just to fill these up. We want some of these work yards to actually be working during the summer. Kind of do a dual fold and let's start this progression. So pick up all of these province. I think, yep, this one was great. So that's going to be the edge. Ooh, we're going to get something good here. So let's activate our grapes so we have room for it. And we're out of money. So we got to wait just a little bit more. And going into the spring, we have food remaining. This is good. I am liking what I'm seeing. Let's clean up our roads. Now, do we need roads up here? It's kind of given us our our frame and we will want to expand our houses at some point in time. We just want to do it a little bit different because in the upgrade tree we have shrubbery and increases the uh, appeal by five for five tiles. So this would be good. The auto trader would be good because then we don't have to worry about tools we can just trade for them. In the tech, let's go ahead and get the brickwork, then iron, then blacksmith. Let's start plotting out where we want to build. So let's go ahead and turn on our, our overlays. So I need these two zones still. I'm going to bring this road over. I want the edge of our town to actually be right here. So I need this one. All right, back off with the overlays. Are we in a position where we can move these over? Because this area is pretty well filled in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab our production books out of here. Grab our production book out of both, just so it doesn't yell at us. And we're going to drop that. Let's drop this in the pig uh, farm for right now. And let's get these two moved. Now, do we move them both or do we let the one fill in? I think we're just going to move this one first. I got rid of the road. That was a fail. Try this again. He'll fill in this spot. Where's the edge? Now I see where the other one was. So it looks like the edge is right here to where we're going to start our next food chain. So let's get this, get this to cutting non-fruit trees. And do we have the stones? We do have stones. All right. So they should move over. Now with all the buffs I'm seeing, I, I'm seeing some good numbers. I still see some little numbers, but I'm seeing some good numbers coming up. And look at all those barrels of fruit just getting moved across. All right, we don't want the brickwork. Let's go ahead and queue up the ironworks. So the good thing about this is it also provides 30% extra wood. Not that we're hurting on it, but at some point in time, we might need it. So do we buy bricks in order to upgrade some of our things? We're going to move these, so maybe not. We'll wait until we move them. See what's in our cards. We will take the fruit gather, but we don't need the tavern yet. We will need one more hunting lodge. I think I'm going to use a wild card for that. Just so, well, you know what? Here we go. Let's drop the frugality book into the furniture rock workshop. Pick up the hunting lodge. Grab our wild cards. I missed the fruit gatherer there. Another wild card. Grab another food because we are getting up to 2000 food again, which will be amazing. Grab our last wild card. We're only midsummer. We're up to 2000 food. So we can go ahead and sell that run. And we can buy these sections here. Ooh, another sustainability. Now, with sustainability, do we place more coal production 
Or do we get, after Ironworks, do we get the tailor? Because then we can turn leather into clothes. But leather to clothes is very inefficient. So let's grab the sustainability for now. We'll drop it in one of our coal yards just to really get it efficient. And we're just going to hold on to it until we're ready. This forester is about done. I think it's a little far from any storage. So where can we put our storage? Let's start dropping our roads. So let's go ahead and get our trees hid. Let's show our fertility and start dropping our roads for this next era. Because we're going to want kind of right on this edge for where our houses are. Then we can start putting houses here and work our way up to here into the grape yard which will start either if we do tailoring first it will it will be our second of our our production here i was thinking between episodes other than stone do we harvest trees through the actual harvest and i'm thinking we don't as we build and we're going to space these out this time instead of building them like we did we're going to put a space in between so we can do shrubs kind of that natural barrier that you see with houses but the first row won't matter too much so let's get our first four houses down queue up blacksmithing i really wish you could actually queue more technologies than just one because i would go ahead and set this all the way up to logistics iron smelter i'm not going to take that because we have the wild cards let's see what's in the cards let's grab some more so wild cards, yes, we're playing for the wild card and then we're uh, we're using it. But that 15 gold, that's really insignificant. So we're going to go ahead and take it. We have enough forester, so we don't need that. Do we want the tavern now? Let's go ahead and grab the tavern, grab the wild card. Ooh, we hit our 50 people. Now, I can't actually take this until I place some. So we want our tavern on this same row because we're going to uh, follow our town over. So let's get a road. Ooh, I don't want it there because we're going to have a space here and we're going to have a space here. So we're not going to follow the same production. So let's take a look at it because delete this road in a little bit. We're actually going to be two up from there. So I think we're going to build here. Let's get our tavern down. We'll need another library over here. Man, they are just covering, but that still should work. Let's take our sustainability. Now we're going to have to remember that we put them in coal because we're going to want to expand our coal. So we're going to grab those out shortly. We've got our food back up. So let's go ahead and sell that next run. Keep our money up and high. good. See what's in the books. Our last two fruit gathers. So let's grab this stone and let's start putting storage down here so we can you know, set up our next queue for fruit gathers. see where our roads are first. And let's keep our tree overlay off for building. This is good. Makes it a little bit easier. Now, do we want barns facing the house or facing out? I think we're going to place our barns facing the houses. So we're going to set up our, our storage yards in the same size as what the barns will be. So let's get three storage yards. Now we're going to have another uh, granary over here in order for food. So let's configure these now because we don't want food at them. We just want these to be storage for everything in this area until we get barns up and going. Now what do we prioritize? We got somebody building a house which will move a person over here. That's not actually going to help us with what that person eats and does. Go ahead and box these in. Our forester did finish, so he's going to start working. Now, we did set him up correctly. Yeah, non-fruit trees only prioritizing fruit. We're starting to hurt for stone. Do we buy stone when we buy more tools? Or do we let our, our gatherers go ahead and grab these? Let's turn off the, the overlay so we can see our trees doesn't look like we've started building yet. Oh, look at that. She's cutting down the tree and she's running away. She's probably getting cold. So it is the middle of winter. We have this person just queued up all year round. And we have our five labors. We're on route to get 60 people. And I think at 60 people, we're going to go ahead and shut this back off. Well, 
It's not even working during the summer. Let's prioritize it so it continues. I want to fill out these houses. This is kind of a dual fold. More houses means more people to do this next construction site, as well as more research and more money. That's what's going to feed us as we move over. So let's start placing down our food gatherers preemptively here. Now there is some overlap on these ones, and I think we want to do the same thing with this. Just going to overlap them just enough where there's a little bit of overlap, but where we're not actually eating too much of it. So let's start here. Do you need that hunting lodge? Let's get it right between. Let's go ahead and box these in. Ooh, and blacksmith just finished. So we're going to have to pick up that card in a second here. Is that enough room for a granary? Oh man, that is a perfect fit, and we do need stone. We don't want the blacksmith yet, because we're not quite to iron. Let's see what's in the cards real quick while we grab our last couple fruit gathers. We'll take this extra one. Our wild cards and extra cell food. Do we start working on charcoal? Because as we're expanding, we're going to need more coal, that is for sure. Now let's go ahead and pass. Let's re-roll, see if there's anything good take the wild card we'll take this next fruit gather oh and we tick just in time and we get another free roll grab our last couple wild cards we have our first house down so i think we're going to prioritize getting some of these storage that way we're not we're working on everything's you know can actually be kept right here so we're probably going to go storage yard over to the granary. That way we have a place to store regular items, store food. Then we're going to probably get a house after that and then switch over to this area. Let's get these last couple of fruit gatherers down. I think we've been putting them in groups of five. That's good expand our road just a little our town is starting to look good now we want two more coal yards over here so if we're putting a row of shrubs i think our next row i want to keep it uh, separated by storage our next row is going to be separated by barns just to keep our industrial district separate and then we're going to put a road kind of leading in so we'll put the barns facing this way when we get them see if we get another coal yard we don't let's roll it see what we get grab our wild cards coming up on midsummer we have food we have no stone so we got to get our, our people getting stone it looks like they're prioritizing building which is okay this is kind of the the goal so let's buy some tools so tools and stone. How does that set us on money? Oh, we're good for money. Let's go ahead and trade those. So looking at this, oh, it is late summer. Look at how lush this field looks. I don't know what type of herbs those are, but those are very nice leaves and all the tulips. I want to know their secret because this village stores tulips year round even though they harvest them in the fall we buy roses and they last about a week all right this area is coming along we got our next storage yard done they're already set up so i think we want to go ahead and prioritize as this comes in we want to prioritize the granary and just saw where we have a homeless let's go ahead and unselect this we might have to move that over to getting a house done but we're early autumn seeing the job priority we're down to furniture so we've got five extra people we can have working as builders let's take two more oh and it looks like because we prioritized it over rows, so let's grab two more past them we're maxed out for beer because we're over 100 we're not maxed out for furniture yet now as we expand this and we get into barns we will move our production tree up because instead of these production these uh storage yards holding 600 they'll hold about 3000 so that's pretty big tech did finish we got our blacksmith we could go for quick build 
which as we get more money would allow us just to instantly buy our houses, or we can continue on our path this way, get the logistics, because that warehouse is pretty big. Yeah, let's go ahead and work to the logistics. We might pop back for a quick build. Medicine is tempting. That's tempting because once we get into medicine, we can get away from growing herbs. Uh, leather's starting to pile up. Food is getting good, but we have a good supply of money, so let's wait on that. So let's go ahead and sell all of our leather just to keep things empty. Our tulips, we went through 103 last year, so let's sell 200 of those. Now, I'm over a little bit. Where are we at? Let's go ahead and sell. Yeah, we'll sell the 167 to max this out. Our food is amazing at the moment, so as we build this, it should actually push even higher next season. We've got our laborers are over here grabbing the stone. Oh man, this area is starting to come together. Proper houses instead of the little shacks. Oh man, I'm excited as to where this town is going. All right, let's see what tech is next. I think we're on Logistics 3, so we're almost to the warehouse. So the market will be useful later on because what we'll do is we'll We'll focus these hubs around a market. And once we focus that around the market, we can move our food production further out because the market will draw in. But for right now, our food is so tightly packed, I don't think that's an issue. So once we get into the Enlightened Age, we can upgrade the bakery to make it actually efficient. But we need enough area of fertile ground to grow wheat, to turn it into flour, to turn it into bread. So right now, it's not very useful. But we do have enough houses to get our winery, so we're... After logistics, we're going to go ahead and go up this path. That will get us our next luxury. We need 30 for candles. We can get vodka. So maybe after winery, we'll get our, we'll have our potatoes already. We'll get vodka, get crop breeding, and then loop back up for tailoring. And at that point in time, we might have cotton up and going or sheep. I just don't find animals in this game very useful. In the early game they can do some good but they're just so labor intensive now our food is good our tools are good our money is amazing we're getting this area set up so we're just going to give it a, a few seconds let's get this hunter upgraded wait for these to finish once all of them are done we're going to upgrade them all at once so let's go through our cards and see what we got nothing in here We'll pick up our next cell food. Grab our wild card. Grab our fruit gather because we're going to need more food going down the road. All right. Nothing looks good here. We'll grab a hunting lodge later on. Grab our wild card, our fruit gather. Starting out the spring with uh, food still. So we're good with foods. Man, our kids blew up. So we're going to have to slow down our increasing of houses until our kids get adult. Now all of our fruit gathers are built let's go ahead and upgrade all of these at once now what did that do to our tools we are we still have a season of tools but we're gonna go ahead and buy another hundred now as we're buying them the price is going up so we're gonna have to watch this so at some point in time it might be better to go ahead and buy iron and start transforming it until we've got over to the mine so we've got the money let's buy the tools so we're gonna need this hub finished in order to get over to the mine so do we build an iron smelter and an, a blacksmith in this town coal is getting low so that's probably going to be next so let's get our two coal yards down yeah and we're going to face it in and as the logistic finish you'll actually see how that's going to work let's get one more i think this is a good place to end as we're expanding our city so i think that wraps it up for this episode i'd like to thank you guys for joining hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode